died. I'm ready. You ready? Hey. Will you sit? Please? Thank you for coming. Why are we meeting here and not at your pad? Because I have something to confess. In private. Not in front of Jeff. Okay. Confess away. I... I'm sorry. My nerves are shot. I can't gather my thoughts. Wasn't that long ago since we last met? Something happened since then? No, I mean, something did happen, though not recently. It's a long story. I don't quite know how to tell you. Where to even start? Relax, no need to rush. Ah. <sighs> Uh, uh, a while ago, I started noticing some changes in Jeff's behavior. His personality... He seemed to be changing right in front of me. Becoming someone else. How so? He stopped reading, forgot the title of his favorite movie. Even his musical taste changed overnight. Once... I said we should visit his brother's grave, and he told me that he'd been an only child. That's when I started thinking something bad was happening. Something... insidious. And not just with Jeff. Notice any changes in yourself? After some time, on several occasions, my friends pointed out that I was acting strangely. That must have been hard. It was. You know, it's at times like those you start to question reality. So the whole time, you knew what I could end up finding. I don't know who, how, or why, but they're changing us. That concealed room in our apartment. What about it? I'm sure I'd seen it before, but must have somehow forgotten. I find that terrifying. Mention any of this to Jeff? I tried. I did. But he's blinded to everything. He just laughed, said I was imagining things. He once brought up a vacation that we never went on, swear to God. He went on about it in such detail, I almost started believing him. Could be just you who forgot. Maybe they wiped the trip from your memory. Hell, I don't know anymore. Don't you get that? You haven't told me the whole story yet, have you? I saw a stranger in our apartment one night tinkering with the monitors. But I was in such a state by then that I didn't know if I could trust my own eyes. So you didn't do anything? I don't remember what happened. I talked to security the next morning. Let me guess. Cams didn't pick anything up. The guy just shrugged and said I must have dreamt it. He showed me the recording, of course. I felt like a lunatic. And then, the next day, I got a call. Who was it? Them. Whoever they are. There was a garbled voice on the other end. He never introduced himself. They threaten you, try to blackmail you. They said I was walking on thin ice. That if we kept stirring up trouble, Jeff could have an accident. Then they wiped any record of our conversation. It was as if it had never happened. So I'm begging you, V. Jefferson can't find out about any of this. Ever. His life depends on it.
What if you're just saying what they programmed you to say? Just reading off a script based on thoughts planted in your head. All I know is, I love my husband, and I want him to be safe, and... and happy. But that's what they want you to know. You know what Jeff will do if you tell him? I know my husband. He'll start looking on his own. He can't find out about this. It... it destroy him. You think if I tell him everything, that he'll go and pick a fight he can't win? I don't just think, I know. One thing hasn't changed, Jeff's still a fighter. And he'll go down swinging, mm-hmm. So how do we play this? I'm going to tell Jeff that SSI was spying for his rival, Holt. You just need to confirm what I say. And if I'm not on board? You have a choice. Just remember, any consequences will not be yours to deal with. Truly prepared to fire SSI after the threats. It'd be brave, but risky as all get out. What they're doing to us is one thing, but when you found that concealed room, I can't accept strangers spying on us while we sleep. Not under my own roof. What difference does it make where? I'll take full responsibility for anything SSI goes on to do. I'm just asking you not to get Jefferson involved. Hmm. I'll add a meeting in Reconciliation Park to Jeff's schedule. He'll be waiting. Since I can't know if I'll remember this conversation tomorrow, I'm counting on you not to forget what I asked of you. I won't. But that's all I can promise. Goodbye, V. Whole thing's fucked up, huh? Wouldn't want to be in her pants. Speaking of... Overlapping memories, changing personalities. Remind you of anything? But hey, at least we know what we're up against. No, this is different. You saw it yourself. They're purposely modifying their minds, individual thoughts. Mm-hmm. Paralysis make a damn nice next-gen puppet. Even in my day, there were whispers about this kind of stuff. Cognitive pattern fluctuators, remote neural re-networking, in layman's terms, gaslighting. The beauty is that everything's fair game, subliminal TV signals, high-density emitters in your electric toothbrush, you name it. So, in my pants, what would you do? Some real rat bastards behind this. Someone's got to take them down. Even by risking the paralysis lives. Fuck knows what kind of shit a mayor controlled by puppet masters could pull. But yeah, you could end up putting their lives at risk. Or not. Tough choice, V.
It doesn't matter what you tell him. It doesn't matter what you think of doing or do. You can't change anything. Uh, what? We know who you are. We know what you are. We know what you want. You are playing with fire. Tell Dare cross the line. Oh, fuck. Need to talk. Yes, I know. Elizabeth filled me in. Sounds like I was right to hire a professional. Elizabeth? What did she tell you exactly? Didn't get specific. Just that SSI was spying for that son of a bitch Holt. Guess you got more, though. SSI wasn't working for Holt. You're in deeper shit than you think. Meaning? They're in your heads, Jefferson. Yours and Elizabeth's. This is some kind of chuckle-worthy metaphor? Strange dreams, partial recall, jumbled memories. It's not just stress and long hours. I don't know what you're trying to tell me, but I don't think I like where this is heading. Wake up! Your brain's a mess. Messier than the discount section of a BD smut hut. I'm not paying you to make up riddles for me, so get to the point. SSI's on the take for some unknown group that's out to control your lives. Somebody's hijacked your life, reset your course, your career. I'll admit, there were a couple of fortunate coincidences, but... They forged your views, personality, even that skepticism that pisses me off so much. Clearly what they want is for you to be their mayor. Molding you like a clay figurine. Fuck. I need to remember who recommended SSI to me. Your memories. Can't even trust those anymore. If that's true, I'll never know what's real in my life and what's a lie, fabricated. Wait, the intruder. I have to find him! No idea how we go about doing that. First, I'll find him. Then I'll find whoever's behind this. Pull the curtain back on these motherfuckers and show them what's what. Protect him from the competition with Zeta Tech's newest security drones. Worst thing anyone can do to a person is strip them of their sense of self. I'd fight back too. They've made me a winner, <laughs> and they're gonna regret that. For now, I'll let them think they're pulling the strings. Good luck. My god. I have to tell Liz! Your wife knows everything. Liz? How? Figured it out at some point. Elizabeth? No, 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 no. She would have said something. She feared for your life, your daughter's life. Who could blame her? Nah. No, she's never kept anything from me. And she doesn't scare easily, believe me. Got an anonymous hollow telling her to keep her mouth shut. So she did what the perfect candidate's wife would do. Protected her family. 
I won't let them get away with this. Is there anything else I can do? You've done enough already, V. All that's left to do is wait. So what now? You still want to be mayor? Well, I'm not about to give up. I didn't run just to... Uh, I'll wait for my window. An opportunity. Then make my move. Isn't that exactly what they want? Well, I'll give them more than they bargained for. The same with the Aredis. Take care, V. Good luck. And good luck. So, thoughts? Hmm, somehow I doubt it's people who are behind this. So aliens? Very funny. You're too young to remember this, but not so long ago, people talked about rogue AIs prowling cyberspace. So, not aliens. Doesn't matter who. What matters is that guy decided to take up the gauntlet. My man. Thank you. 
despierta mi sufrimiento?
Hey, V. Come on in. Pizza's getting cold. You made it. Good. Grab a seat. This is Roxanne. She's worked at Clouds longer than any of us. Hello. <laughs> yeah, respect. A feed in itself from what I've seen of the place. Just been lucky, I guess. Just eat the free pizza and then we're out of here, okay? Feeling better? You look better. I'm on autopilot. I don't think. Just do. Sound method. So then, what's the plan? Need to wait for Michael. You'll never get rid of the stench of the corpse. You drop a lot of them, don't you? What's your secret? Suddenly comes naturally to you, doesn't it? Yeah, odd, given how much work I gotta put into it. By the way, Boris didn't show up for work today. Or yesterday. No shit, I wonder why. He's not coming back. Doubt I need to explain why to you. Me? I've got no idea why. Remember that. Done saying hello to each other? Revolution won't plan itself. I modified the behavioral chip. It can equip any doll with a motor reflex system. In other words, make the doll move and fight like a preem tier solo. Fascinating, isn't it? What one can learn while tuning fake orgasms for the moxes. Mind stepping outside? Can't smoke in here. You'll air it out later. Fine, I'll sit by the window. The body will react as if executing a well-trained series of movements. Already tested it out on Tom. Chip's impulses supplant any natural reflexes, so it'll make users feel like they're experiencing cyberpsychosis. But it's basically the same as when we activate ourselves for a client. Tech that's all pros and no cons, I don't buy it. Side effects, spill them. Combat mode auto-initiates when a threat is present. And, uh, there's no way to stop it. Can't find a workaround. And that's it? I don't know. Only way to determine that would be through months of testing on a range of subjects. There's an ethical side, too. You can murder someone and not remember a thing. All right. Gotta see it to believe it. Finally, someone said it. Tom? Pulled that sequence from a kung fu training virtue. Gotta admit, not bad. Yeah, for the market square in Kabuki. Uh, before we start talking serious biz, gonna need to see serious action. You just saw him. I saw a bar trick. I want to see a fight. Got an expert in causing bodily harm among us. I want to see how Tommy handles him. V? Just don't mess up my digs, okay? I like it here. It's on now! Everything chill? You okay? <laughs> Look at me go! You see that? Woo! Gotta do some Lee? cardio! Nice work, Judy. Outdid yourself. If you were to sell that, you'd be the richest Judy in the NUSA. Please. Plenty of killing machines in the world. I don't want to turn more people into them. After this, chips are getting micro-nuked. Okay, okay. That probably sells it. The chip works. 
Let's get to it then. You've got an elite force of three muscle heads and a techie. What now? Guards and tiger claws in and around will overpower. Take down, disarm, escort them out. Clouds will be ours. Bosses, we'll give an ultimatum. A cut of the proceeds in exchange for never showing their faces at the club again. And having no say in how the club's managed. That's what I thought. A half-baked, insane plan. You can't see more than an inch ahead of you. Taking out the security there won't solve anything. Claws will just send more. Hiromi Sato is the man you gotta get to. Where do we find this, Hiromi? At his apartment. H8 Mega Tower. Topmost floor. It's a penthouse. Almost never steps outside its glass walls. But I'll figure out a way to get us inside. <laughs> yeah, plan just my work. Maiko, I take it you're on board too. Wouldn't be wasting my time here if I wasn't. So how about it, V, Tom, Roxy? Made up your minds? I... I need to think about it. Never wasted anyone before, you know. I'm with it all the way. V? Don't tell me you're seriously considering this. Sticking our precious necks out for a bunch of whores? V, get it together. Count me in, Judy. I already said I'd help, didn't I? Thanks, V. Save the gratitude for later, please. Ah, I'll shit. set up to meet with Hiromi and let you know. I need a couple days. Have fun. Toodaloo. Michael, hold up. Give us a lift. Only if you don't talk to me. I feel a migraine coming on. Oh, shit. I'm scared, V. Speaking of gratitude, stuff I'm asking you to do, well, usually comes with a price tag, I know. You want to help, I get that. But I'm more than happy to pay your fee in full. Feels like it's only right. All right. Thanks. Nice of you to think of that. Ah, uh, don't mention it. Oh. Uh. Uh. V, everything okay? V, you don't look so hot. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm better. Fine. What the hell, V? You, like, sick? Remember the heist Evelyn hired us for? The relic I was gonna clep. <sighs> Couldn't forget that in a million years. That biochip. Well, long story short, it had Johnny Silverhand's mind on it. An engram of it that's overriding my mind. You being serious? Truly wish I wasn't. Fuck. Anything at all you can do? One can hope. It's late. You're tired. You can crash on my couch if you want. Sounds great. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Make yourself at home. Didn't know she dabbled in robotics. No, that's <laughs> fucking Shimra. Think that's how she winds down? After a day's work of tuning hardcore smut? Wouldn't be surprised. Hmm. Huh. 
Interesting. This place looks like a fucking antique museum. Then I guess you should feel right at home. Chick's got taste. That all you have to say? And she's nice. Six out of ten.
This is the place. Tick, 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 tick. Holding up. Been better. I know. Probably not hard to tell. So, what happened? Needed someone to talk to. Uh huh. First, take a look. More dead politicians. Just watch it. What's the problem if they caught the guy? My nephew, Randy. Disappeared not long past. And what you just saw? The kid was wearing Randy's shoes. Ah, oh, Jesus. Randy's disappearance. You know anything else? My sister and I don't get along that well. Uh, I don't know much. Just wish I could have been there for her when she needed it most. And what, they figured you'd get emotional and kept you off the case? More like a restraining order. Won't let me anywhere near it. Gonagal took the lead on it. Lazy-ass gonk. And so far, he ain't accomplished shit. No way I'd let this lie. I know. And that's why I'm asking for your help. So what do we need to do? Can't interrogate the guy because he's a veg, but... We can view his dreams. I'm sorry, dreams? You heard me. Come on, I'll explain on the way. It's an experimental procedure, but it's already yielding results. They record dreams that can be played back as BDs. You got access to these dreams? Not yet. But they keep them in the lab we're headed to now. Exactly. We'll go in together, but, uh, not through the main entrance. <gasps> We're gonna break the law? We'll find a different way in, and then hustle out quick. Never actually been here, so I'll need your help.
find our entrance. They have an audit today. Should be a ghost town. Don't need to be quiet. How'd you know about the audit? I did my homework. Know where they're keeping the BD? Likely the room where they edit the autistic kid's dreams. Should be labeled as Anthony Harris. A few of these rooms we probably don't have to bother with. Some kind of shard, but it's blank. Keep looking. dance case.
Hey, River. I think I got it. Found something? Not yet. Anthony Harris. Let's try these drawers. Say, River, why not just have a janitor crack a door for you? Can't risk getting scolded for sniffing around somebody else's River. face. Yo, What are you doing here? You got kicked off the force. Just suspended, actually. What does she mean by that? He hasn't told you? Yawen, please, listen to me. Aren't you in enough trouble already? Harris kidnapped my nephew. I'm sorry. Really, I am. But we store evidence here. And we have strict protocols. Randy and the other boys, they're out there somewhere, waiting for help. I need to do whatever I can to find them. River, the police are investigating. Go, please. Get out now! Listen, you work with badges, right? You know what they're like. Feed them analysis, they'll shit out failure. This type of thinking is the very reason we live in a lawless city. Lawless? Remember your first med school exam? You know the one. Passed it with flying colors. Gotta remember it. Ladies room erupted in flame. They evacuated everybody for two hours. I cannot believe you would throw that in my face. I never wish to see you here.